All right, today we're just gonna go over all of the basic things that we learned in stage four for data analysis. So those things are mean, mode, median, and range. So you probably heard the mean referred to as the average, finding the average of something. And the way we do that is we take all of our numbers, we add them up, and then we divide by how many numbers there are. So if this is our data up here, we've got the number two, three, five, five, five. We're gonna add those all together and then divide by how many numbers there are. So let's do that now. So we've got two, three, five, five, and five. We're gonna add those together. So two plus three is five, five plus five is 10, that's 15, that's 20. Then we're gonna divide by how many numbers there are. So there's one, two, three, four, five numbers. So how many times does five go into 20? It goes in four times. So our mean is four. Then we're gonna try and find the mode, which is the most occurring number. So most occurring, you're just trying to figure out which number appears the most number of times. So here, five appears three times, so that is our most occurring number. So think mode is most. Now we're trying to find, next up is the median. So in order to find the median, we need to make sure that our numbers are in order. Luckily, our data is in order, but if you get numbers that are all jumbled up, you need to put them in order from smallest to largest first before you can go ahead and find the median. So the median is the middle number. That's the number that occurs smack bang in the center of your data. Um, think of it as the median strip that's in the middle of the road. You know, the median strip is in the middle of the road. Your median number is in the middle of your data. So median means middle. Um, so first you need to make sure they're in order, which they already are. So I'm just gonna write it out here two, three, five, five, five. And then what you do is you just cross one number off at the start and then one at the end. One at the start, one at the end. Make sure you're crossing them equally until you get down to just one number left. So this here is our, um, our median number. Now, if you ever get a set of data where you've got two middle numbers, so say I've got, um, let's take the same data, five, 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 but let's put a one in front of this data. I would do the same thing. Cross one off at the start, one at the end. But now I'm left with these two numbers. So I need to find a number that is in the middle of those two numbers. Now, just looking at that, I know that the number four is in between the number three and the number five. But if you've got strange numbers and you didn't know what number was smack bang in the middle, you're going to actually find the mean of just these two numbers. So you're gonna add them together. So three plus five, and then divide by how many numbers there are. So in this case, I'm only adding up two. So three plus five is eight. Eight divided by two is four. So in this case, four would be our median number. Okay, um, and then let's look at the range. So the range is pretty simple. It's just the biggest number, take away the smallest number. So in this case, we've got five minus two, which gives us three. Pretty simple. 